أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم كل نفس ذائقة الموت ثم إلينا ترجعون Everybody will be tasting death Our Holy Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم states استعذ بالموت قبل الموت So it's going to happen to everybody. There's no escaping from it. It is a reality. It is a great reality. Now people of today think they're no, never going to die. Especially these days, there is a, an illness that's going around and everybody is what do they say, people are feeling death on their necks. But whether from this illness or something else, everybody will go through it. But the issue that the Prophet ﷺ spoke about is important. Be ready for death. There's no solution to death. But be ready for what is after death. Death is a stage, it's a way, and everybody is, it's a path that everybody will go through. Whether that path is good or hard, for those who are ready for it, it's not hard. Those who are ready will pass through it with ease. Our Holy Prophet says that it's like, for a mu'min, it's like moving from one room to another. But for those non-believers and those who rebel to Allah and who do not acknowledge Allah, it's hard for them. Therefore, there's no need to be anxious in this world, in this life. People now, because of this illness, are taking precautions. Countries are being shut down. People are not leaving their homes. They cannot leave. Food and stuff is not left in markets and whatnot. And people are preparing as if they're going to live a thousand years. And they're falling into such anxiety. Well, there is death. It's always going to be there. And Allah has assigned everybody a time and a reason, whether from this illness or something or something else. And even if it's from something else, Hasha, Far from it, this illness is not acting by its own self, by its own intelligence. It's through Allah's will and granting that some causations occur. And because of that cause, people die, they pass away. Therefore, to, be, to take precaution is to take precaution for the hereafter. That's what's necessary. At every moment, a person, whether from corona or cholera or other pandemics, whatever people are going to die from, Allah has made this a reason, a cause. It doesn't act by its own self, this illness. Of course, take precaution. We need to take precaution for worldly matters. We're not saying don't. But the true precaution should be for the afterlife. Be ready for the hereafter, for your hereafter. People are saying that we're afraid of death. 
Well, even when there is nothing, people are afraid of death. But as long as fate doesn't arrive, the person does not die. And when it does come, whether whatever they do, whatever they try, they're again going, and there's no benefit from f- from being afraid. So what is important is in these situations, in these states, to be for people to look at themselves. Do they owe anything? Have they infringed on the rights of others? Let them apologize and and with regards to things to do with Allah, let them repent and Allah will forgive. Allah is the ever forgiving. So there's no need for anxiety and worry. Whatever Allah says and wills happens. As long as you are with Allah, you are at ease and you will be saved. If not, then it's different. So take precaution, be ready and repent. Be with Allah. May Allah protect us. And may He give victory to Islam. Non-believers, infidels are doing certain plays and games, different games, but Allah is with us, inshaAllah. He is with Islam. May Allah protect us. And may He strengthen our faith.